So I'm here at Tangles Island because we're gonna start off with a mailbox. And I was also going off cutting some grass, just, you know, trying to find some hearts and rupees. I accidentally cut the sign. So I was here to see if we can actually yield the uh, signs in this game, and we can by playing Wind God's Aria. And a thank you sign. <laughs> Salutations, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Wind Waker Randomizer. <laughs> So this is how we're actually going to start off with one of the checks of today because we're actually trying to find an iron boots and or the fire and ice arrows. I feel like I'm pretty sure we need one of those in order to get the last two Triforce pieces and start off with the heart container. Okay, Whew. so we don't know how uh, well this episode is going to go but now we're actually going to head off to Three-Eyed Reef as long as we can find where the boat is. But I suppose we can also say hi to Tingle. I don't believe he would actually give us anything. But um, if he does give us something, that's good to know. And if the reef doesn't have anything, then I might actually check the spoiler logs to see what, you know, item actually has that going on. But we'll see. He didn't give us anything. We're also on the reef over here, and I noticed that, you know, one of the really big ring islands were ring islands <laughs> the treasure break right here so i want to know what this will give us probably a heart container and or rupees and it did give us some rupees maybe <laughs> which is perfectly fine because well it's just fun finding out what's going to be in there but now we are going to go through here and since it is night time one thing that i found kind of interesting okay thank you for missing us buddy please miss us again as i pull up the wrong thing Okay, got to you just before you got to us. That was kind of terrifying, but hey, it works, and thank you both for not noticing us as well. But anyways, the, the stars are apparently not actually a part of the skybox, which I guess it makes sense because you don't see the little, like, not the rifts, but those lines in between them like you could for other things that would be up there. But I don't remember what they're actually part of, but they're separate. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, we got a boat, thank you. I <laughs> don't know why you called a can on a gunboat, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah, just things like that. Now, here's something for you guys. Do you guys have any random facts about, you know, Wind Waker or about different Zelda games that you would like to uh, talk to us about? I don't know why it took me that long just to find that last gunboat. But oh, <laughs> and check number two, we got ourselves an orange rupee. That's not quite what we were looking for, but we do have one other spot that we can go to, which hopefully will actually have, you know, either the arrows and or the iron boots. We'll see about that when we're going to go to Bird Eye Peak. And then if that doesn't give us anything, then I'm actually going to bring up the spoiler logs because I don't know where else we would go. There's nothing else that we could do for a check. And we did all the temples that we could actually do. Okay, and here we go. We only have two Hoya Pillars, so hopefully we could actually do this without, you know, much issues. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> so that was a bit awkward, only because, well, there's those little switches. And thankfully, uh, having the bow and arrow actually makes it a lot easier to actually be able to do that. <laughs> but now the question is, are we going to get an upgraded item? Will I need to use the spoiler log? What do you guys think? For me, I have a feeling that I might need to use the spoiler log, but... No. Never know. I have been proven wrong before. Okay, and here's a moment to truth, which we got the fire and ice arrows, baby. I'm glad that I was proven wrong. That means we can actually go back to the Earth Temple, which I think we might do. But I think before we do that, we're actually gonna go to Fire and Ice Island. So we're starting off in Fire Island first because, well, I had to go to Windfall, and it's also nighttime now because for whatever reason, Beetle. 
and windfall just doesn't appear in during daytime. I don't know why that's the case. But I think this is kind of interesting. I wonder what other beetles might be like that. Also, okay, I just started off on the wrong side, but that's alright. And here's another area where I, I'm questioning why there's a bird around here. It's like, we would think that it wouldn't want to be in an area that it could just easily run into lava and burn itself on, but you know what? To eat their own, I guess, as I fall off. <laughs> And in we go. That bird lived to see another day, I suppose. Especially say it survived going around, you know, spitting out lava. Also realizing why is the lava spitting out so much too? Like, yes, I understand, but I don't think lava usually spouts up that much. <laughs> And now let's see what we get in this chest, and we got ourselves a silver rupee. Aw uh, yeah. And now I'm kind of curious, I know we have the bracelets already so we don't need to worry about that. Is if lava, okay it does get affected by ice arrows. I kind of figured so considering it melts and you know, dragon brew is cavern and the water equals, you know, lava crumbles, whatever you want to call them, platforms, and now to ice island. And here we go. I also like how Ice Ring Island is just, I'm pretty sure it's just a reference to, uh, you know, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time with it being a giant freezer head. And or is it supposed to be a dragon? I'm actually not really sure. And that makes me think, are freezer supposed to be like miniature ice dragons? I don't know, but either way, in this chest we got ourselves a Hoya pair, which I don't even think we can carry, so that doesn't do us much good. Because I actually bought ourselves a bunch of Hoya pears. And in we go. It's too bad we can't just like walk into it and have like stair step below, because it kind of looks like you would be able to do that, but no. <laughs> also, too bad we don't have the armor boots already. I wonder if we're gonna be able to get them in here. By be able to, I wonder if we're just going to get them in here. Or if we're gonna get them in the Earth Temple. Don't really know. But the only way to find out is, well, just by getting one of those checks. So yes, hello, Key's gonna try to ignore you and hope that we don't just fly off of here. But thankfully we didn't because it's not like, you know, Mario 64 ones. But in here we got ourselves an orange root bee. Okay. So that takes care of Fire and Ice Island, so I'm gonna drop down here because we can't get out you know, in a normal way. Try to get the tracker up. There's another island that we can go to, which I will just meet you guys over there and tell you what to actually get over there, what the island is. <laughs> Needle Rock Island, that's what it's called. I don't know why it just took me a while to remember what it was actually called. Considering it really just looks like a needle, but also there's so many birds over here. We're gonna start off over in this- okay, apparently we're just going to bring out the cell cloth because he hit the wrong button. We may as well start off with this one since, well, so when we can actually go down, I don't know why I decided to use, you know, switch to ice arrows when we need to fire arrows from down here. And thankfully, I remembered where the last torch was. It's always the one that's like off in the distance over there that just messes me up. But in this chest, we got ourselves another Triforce Jar. Okay, I was kind of wondering if one of those was going to be in here. Because I have a feeling that this island would have something good on it. That or the Earth Temple will just have the last remaining ones. But now it's just figuring out how to, you know... You get the fire ring over. I think we need to use a bird. And that was the case. And now let's free the little bird before it gets attacked because that would be very sad if it actually happened. But let's see what's in this chest out. And we got ourselves a treasure charge. Okay. 
So at least we got something from it here. But now we may as well just head back to the Earth Temple and see what we can get in there. And here we go, finally able to actually go into this room and, you know, use the keys. It feels so good. In fact, we're just gonna use all three of these. Oh, hello, Chew Jelly. I knew you were right there, but I didn't expect you to be, like, right up in my face, so... <laughs> so I wonder what we're going to be getting for the first check-in here. Because that's actually going to be our last check of today, because we don't really have much else going on. In fact, I think I'm actually going to throw... I'm going to say throw Medley up there, but I think we're not going to do that, because it's just going to be quicker if we just use Medley here, and then the popper here, and then use Command Melody. So otherwise, it just becomes really awkward. But all we really need to do is just, you know, bring Gaia up here. <laughs> But first, I will move this block down so that way, so once we save it quick, we can actually go back up here. That would be ideal. So, Medley, if you would please come up here, just in case, because uh, there's no wall masters here as far as you know of. But, just in case, you never know what's a randomizer. You decide to just troll you or something like that. Oh, pff, that's another reason why it's good to just bring the block up in case, you know, you, the player, falls off. <laughs> And it is really nice already having the mirror shield, because I'm pretty sure at this point is when you're actually going towards getting the mirror shield, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I actually played a vanilla Wind Waker via, you know, HD or SD version. But, the last check of the day, it will be beautiful, beautiful orange ruby. <laughs> so right, what's that? I shall leave it here. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Snap that subscribe button, say something down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.